Now we're going to talk about the future Let's go. UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Mr. King Kong. And again, not trying to like overplay because obviously I'm unbiased. This is like, obviously, well, this was the fight we were originally going to get. We were going to get Marcos Rogerio de Lima at plus 275 versus Alexander Romanov minus 335. If, if I recall, that was a pick em, where we were going to get Romanov. Negative like 105. Yeah, negative, negative 105. We were going to unload on this bet. Max, now, but obviously, the all going to be. It was going to be. Now we got minus 335, which isn't really super doable. Uh, I will give an option for a bet on this that I'm going for, especially if the numbers hit where I think they're going to hit. But Mikey Gills, Delima uh, versus your favorite Russian human being. <laughs> I, I get excited every time I hear his name. Since the first time I watched this guy's like uh, his highlight reel, I was like, oh, that's my new favorite fighter right there. And then he comes out in his last fight, and he does exactly what his high rate, highlight reel looks like. <laughs> Just there's nothing better that you can ask for. God, he's 12 and 0. Uh, Alexander Romanov, 12 and 0, four knockouts, eight submissions, going for nine thousand uh, dollars. We don't really need to say a whole lot about it because I think this fight's pretty simple for most people. He's a, a more than aggressive grappler. We're talking about a guy when he gets you on the ground, it's like your seven year old nephew is just controlling like somebody in UFC, just button mashing, doesn't know what he's doing, but it's effective. It works. He's like fighting no one on the other controller. Uh, he's gonna be have no problem at all fighting against Alima, who's I uh, looked it up. He's been submitted four times inside the UFC already. So, and this for a guy who's supposedly supposed to be pretty good on the ground. I don't know. Not tonight. Uh, Alexander Romanov, $9,000. If you missed your chance to bet on him for 8,600 last time, I apologize to you because that's, that's as good as it's ever going to get going forward. He scored 147 points on DraftKings last time out. He might match it this time, might do even better because he is severely outmatching Delima in basically every category. Even on the feet, he is real slick, throws heavy body kicks. Uh, good, good technique when he's standing. Romanov all day. What do you guys got? Yeah, I'm with you, man. I, I, Romanov's going to pick up Marcos de, de Lima and just absolutely slam him on his head and monkey fist him to death or submit him. Most likely submit him because uh, de Lima loves to submit. He loves to submit so badly that he loves to go to sleep at night in his pillow when it's nice and cold. And, you you know, you go and lay down when no one's been in there. That's what de Lima likes to do once he faces submission artists. So, uh, Romanov uh, is going to come in there and absolutely manhandle Donkey Kong and man- just monkey punch Delima to death. And then, but, I, but like I said, I think he's really going to submit him, and I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I really wish that we got the negative 105 that we were getting last time because we were going to max bet that, and it was going to be easy breezy money because uh, Delima can't stuff a takedown uh, at all. So go for Romanov. That price would have been like you don't realize it till now looking back on it that you're just like. We, we we were very confident in the minus 105 and if he would have had him there like we I, like you said like we were never really going to get anything like that again but uh to echo some of the guys statements um Delima like got, like to get taken down by light heavyweights and now he's going against a heavyweight that that is his bread and butter of getting you down uh in terms of the finish a finish is going to happen uh in terms of a TKO it's more uh, TKOs of attrition, uh, especially at this higher level with Romanov. He has the skill and he'll put the the, the hands on you, but it's not necessarily going to be like right on the button and putting you out. It's just going to be attrition. And if you're just like basically willing to give up. Well, one thing that Delima loves to do is to give up his neck. And when he's put in those compromising positions, especially if you butter up with some shots against the fence or once you get to the ground, well, that's all Romanov does. So mm-hmm. there is, in my opinion, if this I don't think it's getting to the second round. It may, but it's just going to be an exhausted dilemma with a gigantic Russian King Kong on him, punching for open up spots for submissions. And then he is going to go in there and he's going to sub him. Now, my big issue with um, going with props normally is, well, first of all, right now, the prop I'm looking at is Romanov by submission. Okay. It's only on one book that I can see right now. It's plus 175 by submission. Minus 230 inside the distance, but I really think it's going to go on the submission there. Currently, I see it at the, at the plus 175 there. And I don't typically like to give you guys all of these what-ifs. Um, basically, this is going to be a bet if it's plus money. So I will tweet out exactly when we get the odds on there. 
And I'm, sorry, I'm just trying to figure out when I could send it. I'll send it as soon as I can for the odds. But um, one of the books is at plus 2075. So if it's plus money, it's a bet. If not, then we're only going to have one bet on this card and we'll get to it later. 